so my boy, Ratu, another, actually I'm glad that we're recording more consistently now, so it's like, we, we could be up to date, Yeah. Uh, so I really like that, but have you, I want to try something different for the both of us, we're going to do our we're gonna first, we're going to take it to the next level, we're going to take, uh, we're going to do our first taste test oh. on the podcast, oh boy, um, so, Ratu's heavily in the gym. I try to strive to be just like Ratu, but he wakes up at 3 a.m. and damn knows I'm not going to wake up that early. <laughs> but um, we have been on quite the journey of like energy drinks and hydration sources, right? We've, uh, we've done quite a few different ones, but have you ever heard of Dubby? So I think they recently just started doing hydro packs, but they're known for um their energy uh like powders like pre workouts and stuff. Mm -hmm. So um I thought we would try one. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do the hydro ones. Uh, I'll let you pick the flavor. Uh in my hands I have door number two. I'll take I didn't even know it's just number two. Strawberry limeade. Just kidding. <laughs> Well, okay, so there's uh, watermelon, uh, lemonade, or pineapple splash. Oh, no matter. Huh? I'll take pineapple. Sure, you don't want watermelon? It's more like lemonade. No, that's fine. But, all right. So, got mine in hand. <clears throat> Ratu has his in hand. Uh, Zero sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I want to see how they do, because uh, my current go-tos for energy drinks are... Quite expensive. Mine are free. Yours are free? Mm -hmm. What the hell are you doing for energy? So I look back at my past. Okay, we're going to uh, talk about that later. <laughs> I knew you were going to do it. I knew you were going to do some dumb shit. <laughs> now, this is my first time trying it. Ratu's never had it before either, so he's trying it for the first time as well. Let us give it a try. Shall we? Cheers. Cheers, my boy. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's very, um, to the dot of Pineberry Smash. Really? Splash. Smash! Smash. That's your caller. Rod, who has entered the arena. <laughs> it's King Kong silhouette with you. <laughs> so, how did you try it? Or how did you like it? Not bad. Not bad? I did you taste the pineapple and the berry? Very nice. This does taste like lemonade with a splash of like watermelon in the back. Very good. Uh, well, the reason I wanted us to try this today is because Dubby is now sponsoring our podcast. Mm. So we do have a coupon code with Dubby. A lot of you guys know they're actually really cool. They uh, um, to do marketing, they'll pair with um, any like online content creator no matter how big or small your following is mm -hmm. and we'll collaborate with you so you can earn commission it's pretty cool um so dubby we have coupon code it's barely brothers uh it'll be on screen uh barely brothers coupon code at uh dubby for some energy drinks Dubs. pretty dope um and that coupon code does vary um for um different promotions and stuff but i think it's a it's a a consistent like 10 or 15 percent off i'll verify that it'll be on screen shout out to dubby man <laughs> rest in peace you shouldn't have died in harry potter deathly hollows part one <sighs> he was a he was a free elf too, <laughs> I, hate you. I hate you so much <laughs> I hate you so much. I can't wait much. to watch the, the, the playback on this because I, I saw like a little bit of your face. You're just. I was like, <laughs> where are you going with this? Yeah, I was like, who's. Who died? <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Dubby. Completely caught me off guard. All right, now, yesterday I ran a poll on IG, or not a poll, but an open question. Mm -hmm. Ask me anything for the podcast. I do think a few people have uh, uh, given us some questions. So, I am going to pull up just that story. Amazing. Make sure you follow us on social media. Mine is at Cisco Pangan. 
Chuck, yours up. Mine is at your mother's house. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Rotten, no. Ask your mother. Stop it. <laughs> his, his, real, his real Instagram will be at the bottom. You absolute clown. <laughs> so, okay. At the uh, bottom of your mom's house. <laughs> uh, we also have our official Instagram account um, at Two Big Bears Official. Uh, question I threw out was ask us anything for the Barely Brothers podcast. Let's see what people said. Uh, a few of the homies chimed in. Uh, first question is what superhero would you be? Ooh. What superhero would you be? Dang, there's a lot, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with being a rich superhero. Mhm. Mhm. You could be Iron Man. You could be uh, Batman. You could be. <laughs> I'm blanking on all the millionaires for some reason. <laughs> That's a tough one because I see uh, many different aspects of life, and I see that. Not everything is just black and white, good and bad. There's a lot of gray area where sometimes you need to do a necessary evil to do good. So I see myself more of as like a like an anti-hero. Deadpool, he has the guns. <laughs> that is actually pretty. It's pretty actually spot on. Because I mean, yes, he's a mercenary. Yes, he does a lot of bad, but he will do what he needs to. When, when it comes down to him. What about you, Ratu? That's tough. Yeah, what would I be? It's too many. Oh, wait a minute. I did say superheroes. We'll go with traditional American comic book superhero. Because yeah. if we were talking anime. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> My anime choice is different, okay? Dude, that's tough, man. Yeah, it what? is. Even say Deadpool, it's like, I'm not too committed on it. I personally just think it's the Flash. Just super speed. You know what? That's a solid pick. That, it's... Throw some respect on the Flash's name, okay? There is there is a lot of respect, but... Um... But yeah, I think I think just the super speed of, of the Flash. Now, is, is... here's the thing, though. With the Flash specifically, he can time travel. He can create after images. He can go to different timelines. Mm-hmm. Man's crazy. Man's crazy. A supersonic punch? Damn. 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 Wouldn't even see it coming. In a flash. Just... In, a flash. <laughs> in, in a flash. In a flash. But okay, flash. Solid pick. Solid, solid pick. There we go. All right, next question. <coughs> Got you on guard. My boy. Uh, asked, do you have an Asian Avenue account, <coughs> and how does it feel to rub Cisco's beard? What is it? What is Asian Avenue? I have never had sexual relations with that man. Oh, is it a dating site? No further <laughs> question. I have the hiccups. <laughs> is it? Is it? Uh, is it a dating site? I have no idea what Asian Avenue is. Um, it's the uh, the massage parlor down the street, man. <laughs> no, that's heaven on earth. It's oh, heaven shit. on earth. What the fuck's are going on with hiccups? Excuse me. Yeah, you want to answer the second part of that question? How does it feel? Feels good. <laughs> nice. Um, you know, not not him having his stripper name, but it does feel like a good scrub daddy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Stop firm, it. Stop it. Just stop it. Brillo. Stop it. We're moving on to the next question. Next. But just tough enough to remove the stains that you need. The stains out your life. That's my scrub daddy. <laughs> he had to get it out. He did have to get it out. Scrub daddy sponsor us. <laughs> uh, why are you so hot? Oh. Oh. Well, you know, if we, just, we did just get done eating some food. The sun's out. It's so, big people hot out there. It show is big people hot. Let me tell you something. Anything past 75, I'm sweating. Actually, even at 75, I'm 75, sweating. 75, I'm sweating, but I'm not, like, miserable. No, no, no. It's, it's a comfort. It's yeah, a it's like comfort sweat. Like, you know, like, it's comfort. It's, you're sweating, but you got that nice, cool breeze. Mm -hmm. that just kind of, like, like it's, it's a nice. Yeah. 
Once it starts getting to 78, I'll start breathing heavy. Uh-huh. At 80, I'm like, jeez. 80, that's... <laughs> I'm mad. Angry at the world. <laughs> <laughs> Why are the lines in the middle of the street yellow? Huh? When you... that, that's killing your father to get revenge. <laughs> Zeus! <laughs> Next question. How long have y'all been friends? Friends. How many do we have? Um... How, many, how, how many, many do we have? How many do we have? I've got too many to count. I've got how long have we been friends? Do you remember the year? See, I don't remember when we started hanging out, but I remember when we met. Well, we hung out the same, like, that same timeline. No, 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 no. Oh, so you, you don't remember. Uh, I met you a few months before in summer school. We had PE together. Me, that's, what I'm saying. that's where we met. I thought we hung out. Oh, no. yeah, technically, yeah. No, after, we summer, out... after summer school, and then we had that break, and then school started. That's yeah. what I said. Yeah, yeah, you're right. My bad. Yeah, I don't remember that day, but I remember summer school. It was... It was me, you, and Derek. Uh, Derek. Yeah, Derek I thought it was Derek. Dalt for a second, but it, it was Derek. Derek. Um, and uh, I just remember, like, we were all, like, lumped together. But I wasn't, like, friends, friends with you. Like, I just, like, you guys are funny when we sat uh, together. We just all collectively laughed at the same jokes. And yeah, then exactly. We just started, like, just throwing jokes like kind of testing jokes to see if we we have the vibe, and then we just kind of clicked off from there. Yeah, pretty much. And then he just stopped being a number on the floor on the PE floor, and he just started being my homie, my heart. Yeah. Actually, I think that was the same summer school where I met uh, uh, Emmanuel M. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. Was he there too? Yeah, he was. Cause who? That's who I was hanging out with uh, majority. Ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So, yeah, crazy. He has two kids. Yeah. Right? Is he married? Are they married? Whatever it is. Anyways. Bro, congratulations. But it was 2000. You're winning in life. Yes, you are. Sorry about that. Uh, 2009? 2008, technically. Not even technically. It was 2008. Somewhere 2008. Oh, wow. um, because I graduated that year. So oh, I nine. graduated 09. Yeah. That's right. You did it. You did it. Okay. Yeah. 08. 08. So okay. summer of 08. Crazy. Yeah. Who's fine? <laughs> I hate that you know that. I hate Who's that fine? you. I hate that you know that. Oh nine. Who's fine? Oh, uh, bro, you want to know what's really oh, funny? I remember being a freshman, and I went to uh, Mobile High my freshman year. Yeah. And um, uh, I remember, you know how they do uh, the assemblies with all the classes and stuff. Yeah. They went through each each section, like, cl- like class. Freshman thinking, fuck. My class in Mova High, like, I think it was the same thing. Who's fine? Oh nine. Uh-huh. They were like, "Who's fine?" Crickets, crickets. It was the it was the metal bleacher, so you could hear a pen drop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that motherfucker would echo. <laughs> Come and on, then, guys. Who's and then they go, fine? And then they go to the uh, the next class, uh, and the next class. By the time it got to the seniors, it was a build up. Everyone's senior year was fucking like, yeah! <laughs> so what would that be? That would be... That no, was 2008 for you. No, I graduated. Oh, 2009, sorry. 2009, I graduated. Um, so four. That was uh, 06? 06? 05. No, it had to be 06. 06, 07, 2005 to 06. 9. Yeah, you remember. Yeah, so 5. Oh, no, no, 6, 6, 6. <laughs> <laughs> Make it math. Make it <laughs> math. I have a whole other topic for Asian math, bro. <laughs> I have a whole other topic. We'll do that one next. But um, yeah, I know it was 06 because Francis was 06 and we went to school together. So I got to watch her graduate. Damn. I hate you. <laughs> That's a crazy thing to say, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. It's weird. But um, yeah, they were hyped. At every function of the school, whatever, whatever club thing, yeah. whatever like back to school night, whatever, like, they were always popping. I was crazy, and then popping. you know, me going through the years when my senior year, we were fucking hyped too, and I understood mm-hmm. why. I was like, we're done with this shit. Yeah. When we get out of here, we're gonna be adults. <laughs> Show some school pride, goddamn it. I mean, I get it. It's like 
they're new to the school. They don't really claim it yet, so I understand. But how many years is that? That how, is. Do we know each other? Fourteen. Eight. No. Fifteen. Sixteen. Two thousand eight. We met. Make it math. <laughs> Sixteen. Yeah. That's my boy right there. Right, next question. Carson, next question. Uh -huh. If you could create a new tradition with your fam slash friends, what would it be? Mandatory meetups once a month. Depending on the living situation for like all the close homies, if you like live close and I would do like a, yeah, like a monthly meetup or like a weekly like family barbecue like every Sunday. Yeah, like bro. Nearby. Hell yeah. Family barbecues, I do miss that, me personally. Same. Um, but yeah, I think that's a movie night. Movie nights are nice. Family. Yeah. It's cool. I think, yeah, I think for me it would be movie night with kids, date night, you know, and then monthly, monthly homie meetups. It's like a boys getaway. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds fair. Yeah, just, man. Sound like Greg right now. I miss hanging out with your boys. <laughs> That's Mr. S I M P. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Mr. Pimpin, that's Mr. Simpin, right? There. That's a motherfucking S I M P. <laughs> Dom submits a couple more questions. Uh, which anime verse would you want to live in and. Which would you not want to live in? I can answer number two. Number two is Attack, Attack on Titan. Titan. <laughs> Attack on Titan is... If I wake up and I'm in the middle of Attack on Titan, I'm biting my thumb. Yeah. I'm inflicting pain to see if I'm a Titan or not. If not... It's a wrap. Off in myself. I'm, okay, I'm off in myself. I, I would rather off myself than get eaten by a Titan. There's no way. I'm, I'm, I'm getting They're, grabbed. Oh, my God. They're <laughs> never catching me. <laughs> they will never catch me. I don't care. I don't care. That's wild. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, Attack on Titan is uh, top tier now. Yeah. See, okay. Now, I got to add, there's got to be some, some more details about the universe. Like, are we going to this new universe um, being the main characters, like, same build, like same, like race and stuff. Mm -hmm. Or are we going there just pulling us out of this universe, going into the next one? Because that that would heavily dictate if I am going into the new world as myself. No powers, no nothing, no. Yeah, like no powers, yeah, no yeah. nothing. I'm choosing my Hero Academia. Yeah. <laughs> Only quirkless people can get all for one. <laughs> Or one for all, I'm sorry. This man. <laughs> Only the quirkless. Okay? This man said, pick me! Pick me! Pick me! I am one! <laughs> <laughs> but, if I can go into the universe as, like, a Saiyan or a Hokage's, no. like, like, offspring. Damn. I've always wanted to fly. So, being in Dragon Ball Z has always been a dream. Being able to fly, blast motherfuckers from... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> motherfuckers. Fine <laughs> 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 <Vine> off! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or would I want to go to Naruto? Now, I have two thought processes about this. No, oh, you really thought about this. <laughs> huh? Go, I'd, Go off. Well, because if I do get the powers of that universe, I'm thinking about the fights, right? Yes, the fights will be dope. But realistically, do I want to fight all that much, especially in Dragon Ball Z, where it's like, hey, the universe can be fucking destroyed. I'm going to blow up this planet, and like, it's got to be that type of fight. Or if I live in Naruto's world, there's Hella Shinobi. Hella Shinobi, I could... I Left could open right. up a fucking, a, a fucking like ramen shop. Exactly, a shinobi <laughs> store. You know, so I can open up something in the village, be safe within the confines of my village. Yeah. What would you do? I go Naruto. You go Naruto. Obviously, I'm leaning more toward Naruto. I was, I was thinking it was for me. It was between Naruto or Demon Slayer, but I think I'd go for Naruto. Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. You just be that's on, that's a rough one too. You just be on your toes, big dog. <laughs> Demon Slayer. You're just at home with your samurai sword. It was like, here's Attack on Titan, <laughs> Demon Slayer, Naruto. Like, they're both ideally not universes you want to live in. I mean, 
I get it. Yeah. But I would, I would like to be a Demon Slayer. I mean, it would be cool. Being. being would I live very in long? Hashira. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably go Naruto too. Yeah. I can't deny that you can create new techniques, which is dope. Their world is evolving with technology. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, this is this is valid. This is Dom also. Uh, when can the Soju Boys pull up for round two? It's it's up to them. Yeah, we just gotta pick a day, make sure we're all available. Yeah. We talk about it. Oh yeah, we can plan it out. I'm down. Gotta move this fucking beanbag upstairs because I'm not dealing with that shit. Okay. Soju Boys. Yeah, I'm down. Soju Boys, hit it, huh? We'll run it back, baby. This is my boy Brendan Sigma. Mm-hmm. Um, how much meat is too much meat? Um. Too much meat is that last plate of brisket at all you can eat Korean barbecue. Um, that last plate is too much. Meat. Is too much meat. Is that that last plate? When so, you look at meat in disgust, then you're just like, yeah, I should have been a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that time we went to Korean barbecue? I think it was our first time together. We got so yep. full. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> we were trying to find ways to get rid of the brisket. We had we crumpled up in, in paper towels. Yeah. I went to the restroom, yep. tossed out whatever I could. <laughs> we still had like a good half a plate left, and it was like this big still. Oh yeah. And at that time, we didn't touch our salads. Like, no, we don't know damn salad. We don't want this. We don't want this little side stuff. We want the meats. <laughs> we want the meats. This is what we're here for. And me and Elle just looked at the plate, the, uh, the bowl of, of salad. We looked at, at it at the same time. Same time, we're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put everything in the bottom of the salad, salad on top, called it a day, check, <laughs> and dip. <laughs> when the car reclined our chairs, we were just, uh... oh, turn the AC on. <laughs> it was summer, too. Turn the AC on. That cold, that cold <laughs> AC in a hot car hit different. You know that, you know that Roland Highlands heat? <laughs> oh. Oh my and god. And then your meat sweats? <laughs> On top of that? On top of that, bro? Yeah, that that's too much Fuck too god. much meat is when you look at meat and disgust. That's too much meat. <laughs> the you question yourself of why did I order this? <laughs> what was going through my mind when I asked the waiter ten minutes ago? I'll get two more. I'll get yeah. <laughs> I'll yeah. get one brisket and one pork belly. <laughs> uh, it's always <laughs> What behooves me to be like, I got room for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> that's just so that true. Is, that is too much meat. That is too much meat, indeed. If you had to change your name to Austin Powers or Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which one would you choose? Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Do we really? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Doc. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm, and I'm not going to... I'm not... Discrediting it at what whatsoever, that's still a solid question. <laughs> that's a solid question. But I would do the Dwayne Rock. the Rock Johnson. Or in my case, Dwayne the Walk Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> the Walk. Can you smell <clears throat> what the Walk is cooking? <laughs> Come to Magic Walk. <laughs> Off Cherry and Bird. He's serving up these, these Kung Pao chickens. <laughs> But yes, it'd be uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Final answer. Thank you. Okay. All right. I don't you? know. I really don't know. I, I'm not built. I'm not built like the Rock. It doesn't matter. Not even about built. It's just your name. What would you? I don't want to be known as the Rock, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's the Rock. <laughs> dad, Dad, look, it's a Rock. <laughs> it's not just a Rock. <laughs> that's that's not a boulder. It's, it's a, a Rock. It's, rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Rock. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, you seem like a more Austin Powers type. Honestly, of guy. I'm leaning more toward Austin Powers because <laughs> it's kind of like I can fly under the radar. If I have to introduce myself all the time as Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Well, I wouldn't introduce myself as nah, Dwayne nah, nah, the nah. Rock Johnson every time. You would you just, you're introducing yourself as the Rock? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it every time. <laughs> yeah. I would just do it at some place where I'd be like. <laughs> So I'm, I'm the rock. I'm the rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rock. It's a rock. Okay, this one is from Arlen. Oh boy. <laughs> <sighs> Let me drink some water. <laughs> oh shit. Go ahead, Arlen. Ask your ask your bum bum question. 
Which is very funny when we talked about it earlier today, too. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Marlon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Arlen, okay. we love you, girl. That's hilarious. Uh, would you rather have a finger for a dick or a dick for fingers? <laughs> Hey, yo! <laughs> the fact that I touched my hands and I like kind of pulled it away in disgust. I was like, oh, thank God. Um, it's got to be, it's got to be your finger for dicks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, sorry, sorry, dick for finger. I would rather have my dick as a finger than just have my I can't dick. do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> do, do you... Re- And they perform the same? I can't do this. <laughs> I don't think they perform the same. They're just saying... They're just... <laughs> Next question, please. We got a banner. <laughs> yeah, she's no longer allowed to participate. I can't look at my fingers the same. <laughs> <laughs> I got scared wanting to hold my face. So I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, last question is from Arlen as well. Oh, uh, uh, this one's actually, this was actually valid. Uh, telekinesis or teleportation? <laughs> and that does sound like an online ass question. Teleportation. Teleportation. Jumper. Jumper is a good movie. Jumper is a solid movie, indeed. I did like Nightcrawler, like in the comics. I actually did love him just because of teleportation. Yeah, and teleportation just... is dope. Get anywhere in an instant. Just disappear out of nowhere. Yeah, my dad's good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh at this. I can't. I can't. I can't laugh at this. I cannot condone the. I'm just trying to be like him, you know. Stop. <laughs> you know how you want things that you can't have, like Chick Fil A on Sunday. <laughs> I want to be. You said that every day. <laughs> I want to be like him. <laughs> uh, um, but yes, Nightwalker, uh, like teleportation. Though, that's my final answer. Final now, answer. for me. Telekinesis the, to be able to move. I can tell my nieces whatever I want. That's fine, but I'm still gonna <laughs> think. <laughs> think teleportation. No, because I, I initially picked teleportation too. I was like, mm-hmm. solid. I'm gonna go anywhere I want to. No, yeah. I'll go to the Bahamas for a weekend. Yeah. come back like, bro. But telekinesis, being able to lift any object with the power of your mind. Um, I'm thinking, I'm gonna pick my ass up. And fly. That's fine. Fly. So I don't need to. I don't need. Oh, this is actually very rough because I would assume you could move it as fast as you want. I think so. Yes. That's what I'm going to say. So that's the case. I have unlimited projectiles. Okay. Right. I can fly myself around. My fat ass would open the fridge from over here, <laughs> grab some food out, <laughs> pop that bitch in the microwave, <laughs> turn the button, <laughs> let it wait. As soon as I hear the beat, get... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not even that, not even that. <laughs> it would go straight to... <laughs> As I'm working. Not even having to turn my head. Not even having to turn my head, my fat ass. <laughs> Would not be good with this power. <laughs> but I'm probably going to go telekinesis. <laughs> I'm just sleeping down here. I poop over and I was like, is that a hot pocket going to bed? <laughs> hey, yo, why is the glizzy floating? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, bro, I would fucking lose it. That'd be... Yeah, I'd have to go telekinesis. Teleportation. Yeah. If if I can't lift myself and fly, then I'm going teleportation. <laughs> that that's I think that's fair. I want to fly. That is the one superpower that I've always wanted. I'm a fucking bird brain, so I'm gonna get out there and flap my motherfucking wings. <laughs> oh yeah. But those were all the questions. That was funny. That was absolutely hilarious. Solid. Yeah, we'll run this one back as well. Uh if you guys happen to see your question, give us a thumbs up because I see who likes the videos. I know who seen it. I know who seen it. I know who likes it. <laughs> and so. I know who wants it. 
Um, yeah, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you put any questions you want us to answer in the comments below because I'm going to be going through that as well. I haven't gotten a single question. It's been a month and a half. Yeah, so go ahead and do that for me. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more content. Give us a thumbs up. Share the podcast with everyone. And Raw 2. <laughs> you know, I knew I was tripping because I heard it. And I was like, nah, nah. <laughs> I was over here thinking like, yo, the edibles hit hard. <laughs> I was over here like, nah. Hold <laughs> on, oh, there's voice changes on this motherfucker. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Oh, there you go. <laughs> 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 Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Brian, you. Wow. You have failed this city. All right. Jeez, Green Arrow. <laughs> oh, yes. We need to bring this to the beach. <laughs> hey, stop running. <laughs> Do you remember when we went to the beach? <laughs> what, what did I say to scare those kids? <laughs> We went to the beach and these kids were doing something. I said, I think I said either stop running, but they like got scared. No, no, they were they were sitting on the rail. They were standing on the rail, uh-huh. and oh, these fucking kids. And then you yelled, "Get on the rail!" Oh, there you go. <laughs> and they went, <laughs> "Get on the rail." Okay, guys, we'll catch you in the next episode of the Bradley Brothers podcast. Good See you later. Morning.